I'm live. I have an overhead light on today because I felt like I decided to film in here in my room and I haven't filmed in here in a while. And I feel like the visual interference with this wall for some reason today was just like, there was so much visual interference. I felt like I couldn't see anything. It was like so staticky. So I, I turned on an overhead light, which I, oops, which I know I normally don't do, but I did today and I'm live and I forgot what we're watching. So somebody refresh my memory so that I can look for it. Because I really drew a blank and could not remember at all. Hi. Hi, Real Trini. How are you? Hi, 25th Bruce. Hi, Alexia. Hi, Thalia. Hi, Jules. I'm good. How are you? Hi, Mel. Hey, Mar. Hi, Miss Andrews. Hi, Chris. What are we watching, guys? Who remembers? Hi, Clotilde. Oh, you're heading to work? Yay! Work's going well, Alexia. You feel safe? Oh, is it Coraline? Is it Cor was it Coraline? Hi, Bambusa. Finally have the day off for a, a bee's bait. Okay, so it is Coraline. Okay, Coraline. Okay, that's fine. Doing okay? How are things in Trinidad? Hi, by any means necessary. Hi, Savannah. Gotta stop sleeping in. I'm like, why is she going live so early? <laughs> early. <laughs> what is the space and time continuum in the era of COVID? Like, is lockdown even over? Like, what's even happening? <laughs> I'm still going live on Thursdays because, you know, like, why not? Thursdays and Wednesdays or Wednesdays because, like, why not? And it seems like it's something that everybody enjoys. But, like, what's even going on? Does anyone even know? Hi, Paris, October. Time is not real anymore. Mm. Hi, Brooke. How are you? Hi, Vanity. I'm so tired, but I'll make it. Never watched Coraline. Gonna check it out. It was on Netflix for the longest time, like years and years, and now it's not on there anymore. It's free on YouTube, so no need to search for it. Cool. Hi, Kimberly Frazier. Oh, was there? Right, Mel, we locked down for life. I don't know what's happening. Hi, Southern Sorcerer. How are you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Doing all right? What is happening? I just started waking up not at 5 p.m. and like 12 p.m. instead. I was missing every live. <laughs> Hi, Kai. Been watching the anime conventions this weekend. How are they doing them? Is it like a remote? Are they doing like a remote thing? Hi, Kayla. Hi, Alexin. Brooke, I'm good. How are you? Still on lockdown. I don't care. It ain't over for me. Numbers keep going up. I stay in, right? I'm doing all right. I, I feel like I'm still on lockdown as far as I know. It seems like just nobody knows what's going on. Like one day we're on, lo on lockdown. One day they're opening stuff. One day they're closing stuff. Some people are back at work. Some people are still not back at work. Nobody knows what's going on. It seems like there's no plan. <laughs> like, we're just like, I don't know. But we still do in Beeswick every Sunday. That's all we know. For COVID, it's going okay. However, in the disenfranchised areas in our capital, they had a protest. And I was part of a group that represented them to get bail. Awesome. That's cool. I'm glad. Coraline is what we're watching, Kai. I uh, I saw about, I heard about what happened in Seattle too. Horrible. I, like, I don't know what's going on. I really just don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. Hi, Davey. Doing well. Coraline was in 3D when it came out. Um, so I think Coraline was the first movie by, made by Leica Production Company, which is owned by Phil Knights or founded or something like that by Phil Knight that runs Nike like his son it's like his son's company and they've done Coraline they've done Paranorman which I really liked they did um I don't think I've liked anything after Paranorman though they did Missing Link which I didn't like Kubo and the Two Strings which I hated 
I feel like there's another movie that they've done that I'm forgetting. I feel like they've done at least five movies. But this one, Coraline, it was like this Nike thing. And they were like giving away a pair of like sneakers with them. You couldn't buy them. They were like giveaway only. You had to like enter into this contest and it had like clues from the movie and you had to like guess things. And I remember my friend, one of my best friends at the time, she like won a pair and they were so cool. They were like glow in the dark with buttons. And yeah, we're talking about Lake of Studios already, hi. And she ended up selling them. And she sold them for a lot of money too. So that's, but yes, it wasn't 3D when it first came out. And there are some parts when you're watching it, you know, sometimes when you're watching some of these like animated 3D movies and you can tell the parts that are 3D. You'd be like, oh, I can tell that like this was supposed to be 3D. Bambusa just put for you guys what it's called. I have another one, but I'm gonna look up this one too. I'm gonna look up this one too. So it should be available on YouTube. Should be available on YouTube. I see it. They got it uploaded in parts, like, it's a lot. Have my headphones in. Okay, mute. I haven't started yet, I'm just like looking. Oh yeah, this one looks really good. So there should be a few options for anyone that wants to watch along, Coraline. There should be a few options, looks like, on YouTube. No, it's not still on Netflix, Brooke, and wasn't, it was on Netflix for years and years. That's what I was just saying. That it was on Netflix for years. I used to watch it all the time. I have not yet watched The Great Gatsby with Leo. Hi, Nicole. But I am going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. I haven't watched it yet. I was really busy this week. Hi, Davey. Being, been forced to be locked down. Yeah, Seattle looks like there's a lot going on, Mar. Are, are you Okay. Hi, alien baby. Seems like every day is Friday. Weird Twilight Zoned Out feel. I'm trying to adjust, but I'm struggling. Yeah, Kimberly. Hi, Warren. I was always freaked out by Coraline. Hi, Janae. Everybody's doing different things. Each state has different rules. People partying without masks. I was celebrating that holiday yesterday. Going to brunch, shopping, traveling. I'm like, huh? I went to a bookstore on Tuesday, that was like my first outing in like three, four months. And I wore a mask and I wore gloves and they were only letting one person in at a time and you could only be inside for 15 minutes. And they had somebody that was like with the, the ticker, like clock in. So I felt safe. We were able to like socially distance. Um, and like I said, and everybody had gloves. You had to have gloves and a mask on to go in. Cause I guess, you know, bookstore, the nature is to like touch things. So they weren't even letting people in without gloves and masks on. And all of the workers had um, masks on, I mean, had gloves on and those like visors. So, but that's it. That's all I've done. That's as far as I pushed it. And then I went back home. Like that was it. Um, I'm going back to college in the fall. They still haven't updated us on if classes are going to be in person or completely online. Right, and it's like July now. Like, what's happening? I keep seeing videos of people at clubs and pool parties. They real brave. Hi, the boy in blue. Hi, Tim. Um, I don't know, Kai. The, na the names in this whole movie are weird. That's so funny. I was going to ask if we could watch Coraline. That's my all-time favorite movie. I love this movie too, Alien Baby. They opened a bar in East Lansing. All the dumb kids ran to the bar and the COVID numbers went up. I stay on the south side and never go into the east side again. Oh yeah, you should watch it, Mar. You'll probably really, really like it. You should definitely watch it. Coraline is such a classic. I never get sick of that movie. Oh, Box Trolls. Was that the other one? And I never saw Box Trolls. So that's the one. I saw the videos from Atlanta, niggas having brunches and hookah. Yeah, we're watching Coraline, bro. Um, hi, Shady Saint. Hi, Daya. Yeah, they took it off Netflix. Yeah, and there you are, Nicole. I see you. It's also on Stars if you want to watch it on TV. Yeah, Netflix removed it, Dalia. 
should have watched it before they removed it man that's my new rule with netflix especially if i see something i want to watch i try to watch it right away because if you go back the next day it really like it dead ass might be gone same i used to watch it all the time a comfort movie for me the paranormal phone posits still go for a bunch of money on resale hi paranormal was so sad what happened to that little girl stayed in yesterday boyfriend had to work they told people in texas there's a 250 dollar fine if you didn't have a mask on outside every supermarket i go to got dmv lines man i still haven't been to the dmv i'm probably gonna try and go to the dmv this week i'm dreading going i go to the grocery store and that's it <laughs> college is ghetto <laughs> Only place I've been is to the market or the pharmacy. We haven't even canceled sports yet. My school has no plan for reopening. The only thing they've done is send out surveys. That's why I've been buying books online. The bookstore closest to me is closed down. Wow, I didn't know that. Out of the words of original writer Neil Gaiman himself, the only reason Coraline exists is because his friend's little girl read it and was terrified but didn't want to be rude and said she liked it. I mean, it's a creepy ass fucking movie. I feel like the colleges are waiting until the very last minute to decide because they don't want to refund people their money or give them a reduced fee since it's not in person. Here in New York, they're talking about half the students do it online while the other half goes to school and then it will rotate. Oh, that's interesting yeah i think that they probably did that specifically so they could have her say that like throw that joke in there they probably just thought it was funny and clever uh it's gonna be so weird going back to normal my life has been completely readjusted to fit quarantine rules can't even imagine it Coraline is actually a horror movie people think it's a kid's flick I'm doing online classes regardless of if we can come back or not. Oh yeah, Savannah? Do, do you have a choice? Netflix really wants you to watch their original content so bad. And a lot of the time I can't finish half their shows. I'll start it and never finish. I agree. And I think that's also why they're letting their contracts like lapse on a lot of things. Because they want you to watch their original content. Like, I don't want to watch this shit. Uh, it's really hard for me to feel sorry for people who admit to not wearing masks or adhering to social distancing But then get COVID-19 like you did it to yourself Have you guys heard about these like COVID parties that these fucking Caucasian children are throwing? I don't know what's wrong with them I don't know what's wrong with them Coraline is a pretty dark movie, but if the horror but the horror themes are subtle So if you're not looking you won't catch it yeah, I'm glad you got the notification. YouTube and Instagram have both been acting really weird for me. On Instagram, my DMs are acting it's extremely weird. It's getting my general and primary sections mixed up. It's showing that I have messages and then when I open it, there's nothing there. Instagram's been acting really weird for me. And YouTube also with like notifications and stuff. I don't know what's going on. You know that every time I, I feel like every time these sites like miss like mess up it's like the fucking matrix like glitching hi keep making you made it i remember the last dragon was on netflix and i did a literal double take added it to my watch list and sat on it for about two weeks went back to watch it later it was gone and netflix they'll remove things for a while and then put them back and you'd be like, I swear I was just looking for this movie last week and it was not here. Now all of a sudden it's back in my watch list. Um, wow. I have a hair appointment and an eye doctor appointment. I'm trying to go to the DMV next week. I'm very nervous. Just make sure you were masked up, I guess. I have a friend that has to go to the dentist and get wisdom teeth pulled and um she went for the very first appointment of the day like 7 30 in the morning so that there were like no other people there and no other people had been in there since like the night before so it was like freshly cleaned and like freshly opened and she was the first of the day you know the dentist worked on her and then she left that's probably if i have to like go to the doctor or the dentist or something i'll probably try to do that but the dmv they're not taking appointments anymore so when i go there i'm just gonna have to go and wait which i can't believe 
I think they're making people wait outside though and then come in. Okay, Daya, French toast. I was thinking a reduced fee too for college since it's not in person, but I have heard that some online classes cost more than in person, which doesn't make sense to me. Um, I miss old Netflix, not gonna lie. I have a whole list of things to watch. When I'm ready, they're already gone. Um, you should still try to watch it, Daya. my boss told us about the covid parties he called them she called them idiots i'm about to start right now though so i'm gonna be watching on youtube i'm gonna just go ahead and watch the one that bambusa posted just because it got posted so if the majority of us are watching it it'll be the same one um oh yeah it looks like this is the one that most people use has a lot of views so i'm gonna start Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go ahead and start right now. I'm pushing play. Play. Laika, come home. Every time I see anything that says Laika, that's all I can think. Laika, come home. Which is gor the gorillas. <laughs> I do love this opening too, alien baby. Now don't blame me though if you have nightmares. That's not my fault. I'll play it in the background while I'm cooking. That's good. That's a good compromise. Hi, Chris. I really like this opening too. Um, <laughs> JT9000, you know what's wrong with them. Whoever gets COVID first wins money. They said, yeah, they're having COVID parties where they have a pot. And everybody that comes to the party puts money in. So, you know, sort of like, oh, you pay $5 when you go in. And then they have a party. And then they see who gets COVID first. And then the first person that gets, like, diagnosed, I guess, gets the fucking money. Gets, like, the party money. The pot money. Why? For what? Uh, that's something only white people would do. Never seen Coraline, so I'm ready. Hi, Richie. Coraline. Then when Netflix gets a good show, they cancel it after three seasons while it's going strong. It's crazy. Giving prizes and money to, to the first person to catch COVID-19. <laughs> what even is this world? I have not watched Hereditary or Midsummer. I know that I should watch them. And I know that the person that made them is seen as like a horror prodigy i just haven't watched them yet hereditary i think is gonna scare me and i don't want to have nightmares so i'm procrastinating um karen's have been going batshit crazy between calling the cops on black folks to throwing out all the tantrums in grocery stores and not wanting to wear masks Coraline and the animated movie Nine are both horror, but a lot of people want to disregard it as just for kids. I swear to this day, I do not understand the movie Nine. I've watched it a bunch of times, and I just feel like I don't know what happened. Like, what are like what are they? The little things. Like, can we discuss it? Because I don't know what happened in that movie. We have a choice. Prereqs when it's classes. Oh, okay. There's been a lot of COVID parties happening around here. Oh my goodness, Mar. Oh, people are sick, no pun intended. Been putting off the dentist, to be honest. Yeah, that DMV line is gonna be absolutely insane. He really tried to chip, tip this man one dollar. Or poor line's daddy cheat. I remember when I was binge watching Buffy for like the five millionth time, and while I was in the middle of it. Netflix took it right off. I was mad. That was a while ago, too. Buffy the Vampire Slayer series was the first thing I ever saved on Netflix to my watch list. And for a long time, Netflix used to arrange your um, watch list in, like, reverse chronological order. So anytime I would open it, Buffy was, like, always, like, the first. And it was another, yeah, definitely, like, another thing that was on there for years and years. I used to also, like, rewatch Buffy at least once a year on there. And then, like, it was gone. 
oh sorry it's my hand nine are supposed to be pieces of the scientist who created them with alchemy okay the seamstress from nine gives you nightmares i don't like the movie nine it bores me I had to rewatch though because i was a kid when i last saw it yeah i think i was maybe i was too young when i first saw it and i should watch it again ah fucking keith david isn't keith david the fucking cat why is keith david in so many animated movies Hi. Hi, SpongeNami. 2B has a much larger selection of black movies than Netflix. Crackle does too. We're watching Coraline, which is on, I'm, I have it on now. I'm at about four minutes and 45 seconds. I'm watching it on YouTube. You mangy thing. Girl, you uh, stomp too hard, you're gonna fall in not talking huh hi jaren mm -mm. wow why would you go to a fucking covid party like i don't understand savannah that's what i thought savannah said they basically pay him for the funeral if covid uh does happen to them that's what i thought i was like the fucking pot gonna be for the medical expenses the party pot like i don't understand Leica come home becomes sadder when you realize Leica was a dog who was the first organism from space. Oh, sorry, from Earth to go up to space and died up there when her life support went out. Yeah, I figured that's what they were referencing with that Leica come home. Were there cats? Like, he is your cat, bro. Bring me little dead things. Hello, LaShonda. Hereditary will scare anyone, in my opinion. Hereditary was good, but I wish I didn't have some of that imagery in my head. See, this is why I'm avoiding watching these movies. You love Nine? I should watch it again. I like Midsummer better, focused on gaslighting and toxic relationships. Hi, yeah, we're watching Coraline, Sponge Dami. Nine was wild as fuck. So they're like soul, his souls? Please don't watch Hereditary, at least not without a past or present. I swear that film was made by demons. Hmm. Coraline is proof that animation is just for kids, is a cancer, a stigma. You should have seen my face when I went to watch Buffy and it was gone. In nine, the scientist splits part of his personality into many figures and numbered them. Hmm. I adore Buffy, so pissed that Netflix took it down. I'm reading the comments about Hereditary and Midsummer, and I'm like, it was not that scary, especially Midsummer. You didn't think it was that scary? Do you watch a lot of like horror shit, Real Trini? That doesn't rub. It's poison oak. <laughs> That's why you better have this shit all over your hands. Peace out. Mm. Yes, that is Keith David. <laughs> um. Man, Nip Tuck. I haven't thought about Nip Tuck in a while. Netflix finally made it so you can remove things from your currently watching list so it's not there anymore. That drove me crazy. Oh, they did? Good, because it made no sense that you were not able to remove it. I've had stuff that's been in there for like six months I, that I literally like watched five minutes and turn it off and it just like stayed there or that it accidentally started playing because I know Netflix accidentally starts playing shit all the time. Even when you didn't fucking click it, it auto plays and then it ends up in your currently watching. I swear they do that shit on purpose. Coraline's parents were. Her parents were questionable. Like they were ignoring the shit out of her. Lots of unpacking. 
Coraline was a little mouthy though, too. That sounds exciting. Midsummer and Hereditary are companion pieces. So they both deal with similar themes. Midsummer was executed better though. <laughs> Midsummer was just weird. I'm way too old for dolls. Mm. I won't lie, I like nine, but I won't pretend I understood it. Um, something else that bothers me on Netflix is that sometimes the music inside shows will be replaced due to licensing or something. It's really noticeable, and the replacements usually suck. That's like how in Demolition Man, when we, I remember like when we watched Demolition Man, they had like a different restaurant. The restaurant is supposed to be Taco Bell. Like, now all restaurants are Taco Bell. They had it as, like, something else. Like, I think it was Pizza Hut or something. And I was like, no, it's not supposed to be Pizza Hut. And you could even see that their mouths, like, their mouths were saying Taco Bell. But it would be, like, Pizza Hut. Like a dub. And then I Googled it because I was just like, I don't understand. Like, what the fuck? Like, am I being, like, Mandela effect? Like, I know that it's fucking Taco Bell. And then that was what I read, that, like, certain markets and like certain places don't have the the licensing rights for it to be Taco Bell so they just like replace it with other random fucking restaurants I was like no that ruins the whole I mean I guess it doesn't ruin the whole joke but now all restaurants are Taco Bell it's supposed to be fucking Taco Bell not Pizza Hut Pizza Hut's not as funny for some reason as Taco Bell I was really like, it's not supposed to be Pizza Hut. And their mouths are saying Taco Bell. Ooh, she like smashed all these fucking insects with her bare hands. That's what I think every time. Then her dumb ass about to turn the water on. She got this nasty ass water on her head now. Coraline, that's what you get. <laughs> with her hands. <laughs> See, I wouldn't have matched it with my bare hands. <laughs> what just came out of that shower head? <laughs> they were like silverfish. She was like smashing them. Then look what she just did. Her daddy do got a hunchback. Mm. Too late. Where was I? You want to move to a creepy small town, alien baby? Uh, where are we? Keith David is a national treasure. Nine is also supposed to be about life restarting after the war machines created by man destroyed all of life on the planet. Okay, Nicole, you really make me want to watch this movie again as an adult. TB has a whole category called black cinema. Every time they show this picture, I'm like, why do they have a picture of a little boy dropping his ice cream on the ground? More doors. Hmm. Why do you want to move to a creepy small town? Yay, the boy in blue. Invisible man with the chick from The Handmaiden? I mean, The Handmaid's Tale? Sorry. Yeah, you do. Midsummer is definitely a ride. You won't have any nightmares or anything, but you'll probably appreciate the story for real, for real. I'm so sad Zena isn't on Netflix anymore. I always missed how they ended up with kids the first time. How Zena and Gabrielle ended up with kids? Because I could tell you how. Gabrielle's daughter was fucking Satan reincarnated. Fucking hope. Fucking demonic ass fucking hope. And she looked exactly like Gabrielle. The actress playing Gabrielle could act because when I think of Hope, I don't think of Gabrielle at all. Just like when I think of Olivia from French, I don't think of evil ass faux Olivia either. Like some some people really do a good job of portraying like two figures that look exactly the same. Zip it. We made a deal. Zip it. 
That creepy ass fucking key. She didn't think it was weird that that key had a fucking button on it. When have you ever seen a fucking key like that in your life? I think you are so nice. And I give you bowls of ice cream. What is that? What are they even what are they even eating? And you stay out of the way. Uh why could Peter not tell that that was Olivia? I will never get over that show. Peter Thinking about fringe just makes me want to fight Peter. Peter knew that that was not Olivia. He knew that wasn't the real Olivia. He knew that wasn't the real Olivia, but he liked fake Olivia more. Cause they even talk about it later on because the, when the real Olivia comes back, she asks him, she says like, didn't you know that it was me? Like, that it was not me? Like, didn't you know? Like, couldn't you tell? And then he even says to her, he was like, I mean, she was different. Like, she was quicker with the smile. She was quicker with the laugh. She was a little bit more upbeat and confident, you know, confident, friendly, positive, easier. She was easier to be around. Oh, and Olivia's face. Oh, she looked crushed. She was just like, so you liked her more than me. Like, she didn't go through the shit that I went through when I was young because the other Olivia had like, a perfect wonderful upbringing and the bitch was in the fucking olympics and her parents was alive and taking care of her and all type of amazing wonderful shit she didn't get fucking shot up with drugs when she was a little kid like our olivia did and so she was nicer and it was easier to be with her until even though peter knew that she wasn't the real olivia he went along with it and he got that bitch pregnant mm! that was the part for me that she got pregnant and uh the these like rats were in 3d in the theater these rats were 3d we're talking about fringe we're talking about the show fringe fringe is about like the multiverse kind of and like different um different universes and like different realities and like different versions of different people it's kind of hard to explain but it's still cut so deep. OMG, I'm getting so heated, right? Like, let's not even, like, we're watching Coraline. Like, I just felt a hot flash. Like, that shit was so hurtful. If I was the real Olivia, I would have had to kill the fake Olivia. Like, bitch, now you have to die. Like, everybody has to die now. Look at this ice, ice cream. Watch Fringe years ago. It still slaps. Astrid, my girl, was on Fringe. I remember Fringe seemed like a cool show. Ooh. I highly recommend Fringe. Um, and there's an amazing black woman character in it named Astrid that's super, super smart. And in one of the alternative realities, she's also autistic. And it's like really cool to see her be like black and like differently able and like so fucking smart. She's smart. Fringe was a cool show. Other mother with the creepy button eyes. Hello, Coraline. This piano plays me. Tell me this isn't fucking creepy. Like why is the piano sentient? about Coraline. You sing this song all the time, Alien Baby? I like to do my itchy twitchy girl. I think you are so nice. I buy you both. Line. Her real parents don't give a fuck. Right, the boy in blue. This movie way weird already. The movie's weird, Mar, from start to finish. Guys, I'm creeped out already. Coraline got a little too com comfy with them way too fast. As soon as I saw them eyes, it would have been time for me to go. Right. Coraline just like kept going with it. I guess it's because she's a kid and they kind of look like her parents. If you were a kid. Yeah. It definitely is. Nicole. Chicken breasts. And there's definitely parts of this movie. I'm not going to spoil it because people that haven't seen it. And no spoilers, guys, because there's people watching that have never seen it. There's definitely parts of this movie where 
I can remember being in the movie. I went to go see this movie with my friend. And me and my friend looked at each other at several parts. And we were like, this is not for kids. Y'all gonna know which parts. If I were a kid, I'd be heading for the hills. Coraline got the attention from them that her real parents didn't give. Anyone that's into speculative fiction should watch Fringe. It's in my top five. Astrid, Real, Olivia, and Walter make the show. Yeah, Peter's a hoe. I just... <laughs> I was so furious. I was furious. I mean, it's a great show. It's a great storyline. Like, it really... Like, you feel for the characters. Get this bitch a cape. Your hair used to be blue? Alien baby? Makes more sense that Demolition Man would be Pizza Hut in Europe, but Taco Bell is funnier. Coraline's trifling. Oh, hi Ashley, I missed you. We're watching Coraline. Bye, real Trini. Hide and seek in the rain. Uh, we love mud. Uh, Oh, the boy in blue. No, we were talking about Nine, the animated. Nine has adult themes, not for kids. But I'm your other mother. Other mother. I mean my other, other mother. Netflix can never get the, the rights to the things we actually want to watch. Even if Hereditary wasn't that good, Toni Collette's performance in Hereditary was so good. I do like Toni Collette. I've liked her ever since The Sixth Sense. She's so good as the mom. Gabrielle was impregnated through magical demonic rape, and we've been knew that Xena was bisexual. She got pregnant the first time by what's-his-name that she was with, the warlord dude. And then the second time, it was like a magical reincarnation of Callisto who got brought into the world to fucking defeat hope aka Satan it was like a Jesus Christ kind of adjacent timeline uh took me a while to realize hope was created through rape and they also used, um, I can't remember exactly what happened, but didn't they also use Gabrielle's, her old love that got killed, that dude, didn't the demon like also take his form or something? Uh, I Google small towns all the time because they seem cozy. I love NYC though, and the communities in small towns aren't progressive. Yeah, I've watched Hunter, E Hunter. Oh yeah, and Clotilde, we were talking about Fringe. To this day, I refuse to watch Nip Tuck because I was bitter how dirty Charm did Cole. Charm did a lot of the characters foul as fuck. Fringe is really interesting. Buttons for eyes, huh? You only dreamed you ate all that chicken. She's like, bitch, yes I did. The whole loving my clone storyline has been in a lot of shit. My monkey slippers are blue. French was like a sci-fi X-Files. On my... I never understood what possessed Coraline to go down that mysterious tunnel. Even as a kid, I would have been curious, but still not gone. Mm. The creepy clone parents seem more interested in her. Her real parents don't give a fuck. This movie's way weird already. Coraline got too comfy. Was Fringe kind of like X-Files where it's not one continuous story, it's episodic? It was a mix. It was kind of like Supernatural, how you have a mix of like standalone episodes. In Supernatural, I know they're called Monster of the Week, which I think might have originally came from Buffy, as a lot of things did. But it's like a mix. But there is like a continuous storyline that you actually... French has a lot of twists, let me put it that way. And by the end of the show, it's basically been like one complete storyline from beginning to end in terms of like 
the characters and like what happened and all that you just don't really know a lot of things that's going on until the end the end of the series they really sent her to be all up in these other folks house unsupervised right the neighbors they were like just just go see the neighbor Famous jumping mouse circus is not ready. It's fucking cheese. Fringe. Fringe. I don't think Fringe ended badly. I don't think Fringe ended badly, but a lot of the things that happened with the characters, I wouldn't have done, but... The ending wasn't bad. Right. It's because it was canceled and then the fans got pissed and they decided to complete it. Right. That was what happened with Fringe. Amazing. I already know that I am. This man needs a hot shower. The man with the circus always creep me out. Like why he's shaped like that. <laughs> Oompa oompa. Total doot. Um, it's nice, but not so much amazing. Um, where was I? This movie is creepy. Uh, the food is the reason you would have stayed with the fake parents, Southern Sorcerer. That food look fine, not gonna lie. Uh, don't ever eat food from a strange world or else you'll never be able to leave. Wait! Won't lie, the food that was given home girl did look delicious. I might have stayed for a plate or two. Never saw, fr saw Fringe, but I'll queue it up. Y'all should watch it, it's good. Checking out Fringe tonight. The mice say, do not go through the little door. The one behind the wallpaper? Like, Coraline, you went through the little door yesterday. Like, you don't find it weird that the this dude's jumping mice? And you followed a mouse in there. Like, they call you Coraline instead of Caroline. Not Caroline at all. Maybe I worked them too hard. She almost snip snip them things. Hi, Marion. I do like the music in this movie. Coraline. Mm, I remember my best friend in high school loved Coraline and would rave about it. Uh, moving furniture, talking pictures, Coraline girl, get out. No whistling in the house. You guys know why there's no whistling in the house. It's bad luck. There's no whistling a lot in my house either. Oh, cease your infernal yapping. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, really, Bambusa? Bye, Bruce. Really enjoyed Tony Collette ever since Sixth Sense and United States of Terror. I heard United States of Terror was really good, even though I never saw it. Coraline parents were like, okay, girl, button eyes, chicken, yeah, right. <laughs> Coraline's parents didn't even seem like they liked each other. Coraline is a great movie for neglected children. They really sent her to be all up in these other folks' house unsupervised. Um, yeah, Buffy's ending was some trash, The Boy in Blue. But it was like a similar thing. Like, the show was originally going to end. The last season was going to be the one with Dawn, where she got killed. And it was, like, all wrapped up. But then they brought the show back. And the second ending was some trash. That whole last season was some trash. But I, I'm conflicted. Because the season after Buffy gets brought back to life is my favorite, my personal favorite season of the show. So I can't be too mad that they brought the show back because that season was great. 
But then I don't know what happened. Joss Whedon remembered he hated women or something. Like, I don't know. Not all of it, not all of it. Now hand it over. This pigeon's hat. Caroline, Caroline, her name is not Caroline. <laughs> Nobody listens to this little girl. Your eyes are going. Oh, Brooke. That's my episode. Once more with feeling. Uh, that's my episode. So here's my refrain. And Sarah Michelle Gellar, you know, she did her best. She did a little singing, a little bit. My favorite song is Anya. Bunnies aren't so cute like everybody supposes. They got those floppy ears and twitchy little noses. What's with all the carrots? What do they need such good eyesight for anyway? Buddies, buddies, it must be buddies. It's the jam. And she had that uh, early 2000s butterfly shirt on too when she was singing it. Love Anya. I know Joss Whedon really hated her. That's why he killed off her character in that shitty ass way that we don't even think, think about or talk about or speak about. Because Xander was him, and Xander was the worst fucking character on that goddamn show. Uh, best reveal ever. Yeah, the episode where Buffy's mom died, The Body, is my second favorite episode. My top three Buffy episodes. Once More with Feeling, the musical. The body where her mom dies and hush where nobody can talk. Those are my, my, just my personal top three episodes of Buffy. And it's funny because those are like the three episodes that sort of like deviated the furthest from like the standard. Like the body has no like music. There's like no music at all. And in Hush, there's no dialogue. Nobody says anything. And in Once More With Feeling, it's a fucking musical. All they do is sing. Those are my three favorite episodes. And they show you can take risks. Like, Joss Whedon is, like... When he gets it right, he gets it so right. I just... I don't understand that, dude. Nah, my grandma won't let me. This is how I should have knew he was black. He was like, nah, my grandma won't let me go in there. She said bad things happen in there. I'm not allowed up in that job. I should have knew. Like grandma said, mm-mm. Um, yeah, rewatch Buffy. Hush gave me nightmares about not being able to scream while killers chase me. Xander was annoying. Hush is that girl, all that ten tension and all that silence. Whew. Hush was terrifying. Oh, those are your three episodes, your favorite three episodes to The Boy in Blue. They are iconic. Um, it's true, he also did Firefly, which was epic. This mist is deep as hell. <laughs> Coraline put out some cheese waiting for these rats to come back. Number one, I'm not following no rats. Like, let's start there. You know rodents are not to be trusted. As soon as I see some fucking mice and rats, rodents, uh, hamsters, uh, squirrels, you know, anything trying to fucking tip me into a little door, into another dimension, I would be like, I don't trust you because you're a rodent off top. I know that you're only leading me into a bad situation. Like, period. Y'all know how I feel about rodents. They're trying to take over world domination. But anyways, that's another episode of Rick and Morty. Dark Willow was good. Dark Willow was amazing. Uh, I've watched The Expanse. Cheddar. 
I do love the expanse. It's really good. Highly recommend it. Um, no way in hell my mom will let me explore a new place by myself. We're going together and leaving the mail at the door if that. <laughs> Most likely she would have given it to the post office, not our job. Uh, Fringe is free on IMDb. I watch episodes at work. Oh, cool, Hitflix. How is this man healthy with skin the color of death? Coraline has no sense of self-preservation. Oh, that's why Joss Whedon got mad at the actress for getting pregnant. Yeah. See, he's a, he's a pig. Whistling in the house is bad luck. Yeah. Coraline is a privileged white girl and only child, but she could also be subconsciously thinking that if her parents don't care about her, why should she care about herself? Fair, Nicole. Um, I didn't watch OA. Our garden, Coraline. Hmm. When Buffy's mom died, that destroyed me. For real, Xander was trash. Hi, Shannon. Faith should have had her own spinoff series. Didn't Faith get her own, like, book? Book spinoff? Didn't Faith get her own thing? This was a beautiful garden. I mean, this garden. And the dad was kind of nice. Food? Like, if I seen a garden like this, they might, you know, they might have me wanting to stay a little while longer. Like, this is a beautiful garden, and it's her face. And, and her eyes are like jack-o'-lanterns. They're like pumpkins. And they're flying on like a, I don't even know what that, a mechanical bug? Like... And now they're eating dinner for breakfast. Like, they're really pulling out all the stops. Like, I love dinner breakfast food. White girl got her garden. She set for all time continuums. I love how the garden came to life when the moon came up. It was very pretty. Yes, their eyes are very creepy. Um, from day one, Xander was annoying. The hoppy legs, Warren! Xander was so annoying, Hush was terrifying. Once her little sister entered the show, I felt a shift and stopped liking it as much. I didn't mind Dawn, but you know, that was the la that was supposed to be the last season, the season with her sister. That was supposed to be the last season the show was like going off. But then they ended up switching networks and they brought it back. And that last, that like next season was like so good because they decided to use her death as like a metaphor for a transition into adulthood. Because like the, a lot of the earlier seasons of Buffy revolved around like her being in high school, her being the Slayer, and then you know her going to college, and the whole Riley situation, and like all that stuff. And then she died, and they decided to use that as like when she. You know, it was like the death of childhood. And then like her mom and like all this stuff. So I thought metaphorically it was amazing and the writing was so good. It really backed it up a lot of the themes about like the death of childhood and becoming an adult. And she had, like Buffy had to start working. She started working at this chicken place. Like it was so much going on. It was such a smart season, that, se that next season. And then you found out that like she was in heaven and the Scooby gang ripped her that season that season right in the fields right in the fields the jumping mice see you can tell that the mice were 3d my name that was such a good season of buffy i did love buffy that was my show i used to like be really into like reading about it and like academic stuff about it and the mice are talented the circus mice uh 
Riley was terrible. He was always so threatened by Buffy because she was stronger than him. When they were playing football on the beach and she chucked that shit at his chest, he was shook. <laughs> Riley could not ever handle her being the Slayer. He could not ever handle her being the Slayer. Anya even had some, I know this is like random, but I was just thinking like, Anya even had some of the best dialogue in the episode where Buffy's mom died because she like didn't understand. She like didn't understand death. Oh. I, I will never forgive Joss Whedon for the way that he killed her. It was like so wrong. Riley was whack. <laughs> When Anya became a capitalist, when the fucking Buffy bot was like scanning her and it was like, Anya loves money. And then the Buffy bot was like, hello, Anya, how is your money? And she was like, thank you for asking. Uh, it's great. I was like, bro, this fucking girl, this girl's fucking hilarious. See you soon. I always thought this part was creepy. Like, why are they all just sitting there watching her fall asleep? But you know Coraline loves the attention because she's not getting no attention at home. She about to wake up pissed. <sighs> yeah, bitch, you back in your crack ceiling. I'm at 40 minutes and 20 seconds, give or take. Hey, Willow, you're recently gay. <laughs> The Buffy bot was fucking hilarious, right? He was rude for that. Um, she came back from 5G to 2G. <laughs> they're really like, they're like bringing her in. Um, at least they'll love my chapters. I did not call him crazy, Coraline. He's drunk. I'm not five anymore. Like, Coraline, her parents weren't even being, like, assholes right there. She's just already fed up with them. My kingdom for a horse! Mmm, rodents are vermin. I have to get into Buffy. One of my fave episodes is the first episode of season two. <laughs> For a horse! I said it early. I've been saying a lot of the dialogue early just because I know it. Uh, if it seems like some things I'm saying before you guys get there. One of my fave episodes is the first episode of season two when Buffy comes back and it's realized that she has PTSD from dieting, dying and fighting and she was being a bitch to everyone. The whole sector of rodents is canceled. We are wa we're watching Coraline. Hi, Nikki. Why is Coraline following rats? Dark Willow wasn't nothing to mess with. When them black eyes popped open, you knew it was serious. And I did love Tara. Like there was a lot that I loved about the later seasons, but the last season was just it was a no for me, dog. I saw the squirrel episode of Rick and Morty, Nicole, and I was like, you see, other people know the truth. The squirrels are trying to take over. We have a Doolittle situation. And then they had, they had to like leave. And then Rick was like, what the fuck, Morty? Why did you fuck with the squirrels? I was like, you don't fuck with squirrels. You don't fuck with squirrels. How do you feel about a mustard ketchup salsa wrap for lunch? Like, they don't even have any food in the house. Like, is this criminal neglect? Is this to, like, criminal neglect levels of how they're taking care of this child, Coraline? Oh, like the gloves. How old is Coraline? Is she old enough to be left at home alone? Like, I did have a lot of questions about the way her real parents were treating her. Like, her real parents were kind of pieces of shit. YB is a black character that's voiced by a black dude. 
Coraline is 11. Shannon, I was, I was answering you. Oh, and Keith David too. Yeah, the cat, the cat, Keith David. The cat is Keith David, uh, Dr. Facilier from The Princess and the Frog. YB's cat is voiced by Keith David. He can like go in between worlds. I knew it was real. I'm leaving home and never coming back. Look, see the cat watching like, huh, hear this bitch go. Keith David looking like, no, I gotta go get her. <sighs> Should've just stayed where she was, taking advantage now. Right, alien baby. Look, 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 they got pizza, they got hot dogs, cupcakes. Miss Fink and Miss Forcible have invited you downstairs. I did like the clothes they gave her though. Look, she ate all that shit. She like, mmm, belly full. They're really luring her in with food. That's how they would get me too. Mmm. The one that talks. I'm mad because I can't call it the FACS on these better parents. You can see you don't have button eyes. All this Buffy talk has me wanting to rewatch the series. I just found out three days ago why Joss Whedon killed Cordelia. That guy sucks. Xander didn't know how to take a hint. It was also unrealistic that so many beautiful girls out of his league would be into him. After all, I'm just a big fat wuss puss. Mm. I've been coming here for a while. There's a theory that Coraline... Oh, you can tell me about that theory. I don't know if it has to be now, because no spoilers, but you can tell me about the, th the theory, Xavier. Ooh, that sounds cool, Nicole. What do you mean? <laughs> Back in the crack house. But you're wrong. The other YB told me so. Maybe not to you. We cats, however, have far superior sentences than humans. He was like going off like, this is why cats are better than humans. Oh, it was super creepy, Nicole. The... Uh... Yeah, once Coraline went through the door. Oh, you're talking about the first time. The first time? Hmm. Tara was such a sweetheart on Buffy. She deserved better. We should demand a redo of the last season. I quit Buffy right before Dark Willow. Squirrels are evil. Uh, this weird storyline when Buffy was in college was dating a dude who was in the military fighting monsters and demons. Riley, that's what we talking about. Nicole, that's Riley, bitch ass. Coraline's parents don't care about her. Hot dogs clothes a whole damn... She's practically naked! <laughs> ah! This was the part... <laughs> With might steal your weak heart away. This was the part, y'all. Bro, this was the part. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Me and my friend literally looked at each other in the movie theater like this is not for children. Must fill out her bodies to present an alluring display. <laughs> These two were the closest to the, how the, they act in real life. Them things were sitting, the pasties are holding. You smell like the fishes. A banshee? You're sea green with envy. She's naked. 
of Venus. Oh Lord, the dogs. Look, her wig fell off. Stress. This ain't PG material, Ryan. Okay, Venus, come through. <laughs> Holy shit, what am I watching? This is not for kids. This is, it's definitely not for kids. Looking like a fluffy letter P. And there were so many kids in the movie theater. I was just like, oh shit, look at these titties. I was like, is it because they're animated? That they're allowed to be out like this in a movie? Our lives for the theater, April. And then they like unzipped, they like up unzipped themselves. This is how they look when they were young. It's because the nipples were covered. It's because of the pasties. I love this part where they're doing the monologue. An action like an angel. How like a god. Of the world. I remember seeing this in English class in middle school when it came out and I was shocked that they even showed us. I saw somebody else said this was like banned in school. They like weren't able to watch it. Which I mean like them titties, them things was singing. I always thought the monologue was shocking too. How like a god. That's some skill to enunciate and project while flying around. Even their dogs, I think, have button eyes, right? Uh, was it wonderful, dear? Flying through the air and oh, oh it was magic. It was magic. I love that line. That was how I felt about Henry Cavill as Superman in Justice League. Like, oh, it was magic. And then I was flying through the air. And then he was looking and he saw Ezra Miller in the speed force. And it was magical. Until Joss Sweden ruined it. We'll sing and play games. The other mother was on that Stepford Wives stuff. Oh, Super Chat, thank you, Chiron. Our little doll. For you, our little doll. Mm. See, it looks like you can have any color you want, but the black is the standard, which is maybe why the older ladies had white ones. You're not sewing buttons in my eyes, but we need a yes. Ow! She's like, hell no. I mean, these evil clones feed her right <laughs> and pay attention to her. Then boots in that shirt, everything was puss. Cats can definitely travel between worlds. I would have listened to the cat and went right on home. Mm, nothing but tatas. This is not for kids. Them things was sitting, pasties was holding, looking like a fluffy letter P. Soon you'll see things our way. The island gives us what we need and no one leaves. <laughs> so fucking ominous. Some of these children's movies be ominous as fuck. Don't you wanna stay? What's wrong, Coraline? Don't you want to? I want to hug your face. Like, why did he say that? No, you don't want. You know you can't hug my fucking face. You want to suffocate me? And I won't be back. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. This be me every night fighting insomnia. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. 
Coraline has a lot of like influence in my day to day life and the things that I say and think for real. This is some child corruption. <laughs> Join the dark side. This is how I be when I see something in the corner of my room. Nope, you still there. Coraline is supposed to show that no matter how bad your life can be, there's always a catch somewhere when you think there's a better option. Yes, they were the outlines of the other children. This is where she learned that just because people are nice to, to you doesn't mean they're good for you. Now she's scared. Were the pics behind Coraline on the wall the outline of the other kids that were killed? As soon as mother is refreshed, her strength is our trouble. Mustn't talk when mother's not here. No point. He pulled a long face and mother didn't like it. I would have been like, I need to go home now. I need to go home. He pulled a long face. Mother didn't like it. Other mother was really sick. Not so fun anymore, is it, Coraline? I'm getting out of here. Huh? Nothing out here. She only made what she knew would impress you. Oh, you're behind, Malia? Or maybe she just loves something to eat. Mo mothers don't need daughters. <laughs> How do you taste? He's fucking fucking with her. Mm. Time check. Um, I'm at 56 exactly. How can you walk away from something and still come back to it? Which is a profound line. Walk around the world. Small worlds. That whole exchange. Dun, 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 dun. This rat. Stop, he's one of the circus mice. He's dead is what he is. He's a fucking disgusting rat. Good kitty. I don't like rats at the best of times. But this one was sounding an alarm. So I killed this motherfucker right on screen for small little children to witness. Because they can handle death. Absolutely. They already seen some titties. Coraline, like, she's about to beat the other mother with this shit. She's, like, patting it in her hand. Like, what are you about to do with this, Coraline? <laughs> Hi, Basima. I mean, Coraline wasn't as scared as I would have been. I would have been fucking terrified. Right, Thalia, why is she not disturbed? I would have been freaking out if I was 11 years old. With love. Look at these fucking bugs. Bugs and rodents everywhere in this movie. From Zanzibar. Ew, they're still moving. The other mother is disgusting. With my real mom and dad. Some kids are weird. I used to know many who collected all kinds of shit. You are my mother. At once. No! <laughs> the way Coraline says that fucking makes me laugh every time. She's like, apologize at once. Coraline was like, bitch, no. <laughs> I won't. She fucking, Coraline wasn't scared at all. She, like, I want to be a loving daughter. I would not have gotten her face like that. Oh, I mean, listen. I'm gonna tell my kids this is what's gonna happen if they talk back. The other mother gonna take them away. 
hush and shush this is the scariest part for the bell dam might be listening you mean the other mother uh i mean i love scary movies as a kid but if this happened in real life i would be freaking out who are you don't remember our names but i remember my true mommy the bell dam and their faces are like through the little doll's eyes and saw that we weren't happy so she lured us away and games to play yet we still wanted more so we let her sew the buttons mm, sad But she lucked us here and ate up our lives. They're definitely dead children. Mm, not gonna lie, I'm surprised the other mother only got three kids up in there. I mean, that house has been there for years and years. I feel like since YB said that like he's not allowed to like go inside the Pink Palace, I feel like it's kind of implied that like the people that live in this town, they don't let their kids go in there. Cause like even before Coraline's parents moved here, cause they moved here from Michigan. Even before Coraline's parents moved here, the only people that were like living in the building were old people. It was the two sisters, Sphinx and Forcible and the old dude with the jumping mouse circus. So the grandma owns the Pink Palace and she doesn't normally let people rent to kids. So like kids don't come in there. <laughs> Coraline was beating his ass. Coraline was like, bam, bam. Like he grabbed her. Coraline wasn't scared. Coraline started bussing. made out of dust just like the rats no spoilers for some people that haven't seen it yet just so you guys know i'm trying to like talk about only things that have like already been revealed look at this dirty ass this is how this dirty shit really looks fucking covered in cobwebs and old toys and shit Real mom, real dad. I want to try trapeze one day. 2009 was different. I swear this would never fly these days. Uh, that's disgusting. And like the groceries are bad, which means like how long has Coraline been gone? Because those are the groceries her mother was getting like the day that she left. She knew what them buttons meant the minute she opened it. Now Coraline wanna leave. My grandma's real mad. Says it was her sisters, the one that disappeared. Mm. Oh, there you are, Basima. With ribbons and braids and <gasps> your your grandma's missing sister. I think I just met her. YB's like, I'm not supposed to be in here. He's like, I'm not supposed to be in here. Like, my grandmother does not let me come up in here. Like, YB's like, sis, like, I'm black. Like, I know you can talk back to your parents, but I'm not supposed to be in here. Like, my grandmother says I'm not supposed to be in here. Her eyes. He's like, right. He's like, I just need the doll back, <laughs> sis. I don't even know why you even brought me up in here. You and grandma been talking? You and grandma been talking? Why well, be looking like this white girl is crazy? The doll is my grandma's spy. Bobby's looking like, okay, sis, with his head to the side, like, I don't know, sis. I just want the doll back. <laughs> 
Don't believe me, you can ask the cat. The cat? You couldn't find the doll. Like, hoodwinked. Uh, you're the jerkwad that gave me the doll. That was the word. That was like the word to win the shoes. It was jerkwad. This is the Leah's first time watching, and I know it's like some other people's first time watching too. That's why I keep saying like no spoilers. That's like, get there when we get there. I'm digging in my garden right now. You would have chosen chartreuse, alien baby. <laughs> um, they were the outlines of the other children. The other mother was really sick. Um, this is one of your favorite movies. I should watch Hoodwinked. Coraline was still in denial. Girl, she's not a mother at all. She will eat you. We've waited months for those tickets. It's nearly two miles to the theater. Mm. I never would have went down the damn portal in the first place. Entire interior switched up on her. I have not seen Hoodwinked. I'm gonna tell my kids this is what's gonna happen if they talk back. I love scary movies as a kid. But if this happened in real life, I would be freaking out. I should make my babies watch this and tell them if they don't behave. <laughs> the other uncle will get them. <laughs> the other uncle, I'm crying. <laughs> and he's not going to be a nice uncle like me. He's going to try and sew buttons in your eyes. No, no. They're good for lost things. Bad. Lost. Hi, Michaela. This part is sad, knowing that these children just went missing. Yes, the little girl, the little ghost girl with the flowers, Wyborn's great aunt. Uh, handle that, Coraline. This movie has some strong messages about mother-daughter relationships. Uh, the freaking cat is creepy. She was trapped in that room with them ghosts for a while. Right, it had to be at least a few days because the grocery and the gro like the groceries were bad and they had like flies like they were rotten. Why well, be looking like this white girl is crazy? I think the other mother plays with the kids so she can use their life force for more energy and affect the goings on in the house in the real world. Oh, but only in the house. I mean, Coraline does sound crazy. <laughs> Do scare shitless. He's like, F this, I'm out. That's because you're crazy. I mean, we don't need spoiler tags, like, for the chat. I'm just saying, like, as we watch the movie, like, let's just talk about it as we watch it, not like before. The shit that we're talking about, like Fringe and Buffy and Charmed and Xena, I'm not spoiler tagging for shows that like went off the air 15 years ago, 10 years ago. Help us. Ah! Why is everyone's home in this movie trifling? This is how these two old women live, damn. I'm gonna carve a fake door into the wall. You've never seen this? Oh, are you watching, Kimberly? Uh, this is kind of sad she's pretending to be sleeping with her parents yeah that part was sad and she started crying as much as she's been acting the whole movie so annoyed with her parents now they're really gone and she is a kid hi Rodney see her parents are crying for help how the hell is she going to get to her parents the other mother took them, kidnapped them. The other mother can definitely influence things in the house. That's like an interesting theory that she like uses the life force from the kids to like grow stronger. Cause like the, the, the fucking mice, 
like the rodents that led Coraline into the world into like the the other world they came into her world like they came into the real world Mm. Um, oh yeah, I know it's like a few people's. Oh, the Leah, you just got to the part where they unzipped. <laughs> Damn, Coraline, other mother grabbed your parents. <laughs> you know you're walking right into her trap. I have to go back. They're my parents. What if the movie just ended with her there with the cat at the fireplace? That would have been dark. Oh my gosh, that would have been fucked up. Would have been a fucked up ass ending. She's got a thing for games. Mm. Where was I? Yeah, they did a lot of fucked up shit. Sponge on me on Puffy. Like, we could run a list. So is it the same voice playing her real mother and the other mother? Or is it not? Are they not both Terry Hatcher or are they? I have no idea where your old parents are. Now she's on how she really looks fucking well, fucking creep. Look, look at the look at the dad, how the dad really looks. So she definitely like puts energy into making them look like her parents and not creepy. The other mother, I mean. I never thought about, like, her using the life force of the kids to, like, influence things in the house. Only one key. Squish, squash. This dude loves to sing. Squish, squash. I wouldn't have tossed the doll into the fire for fear that it would hurt my real parents, like in Pan's Labyrinth. I love how she dressed up like she was going duck hunting. I probably wouldn't have, I don't know. That's kind of a 50-50. I get why she burned it because the doll is the other mother spy. It's like how she like looks at, looks at your life. She looks at things that's going on in the real world. And it's clear that the doll has some type of agency, like it can move around because Coraline had like put it somewhere and then it was like somewhere else. And it can change, like it was Coraline and then it was her parents. So I'm, my, my first instinct would probably be to burn it. But that is a good point that it might hurt the parents if it's in their form in the eyes of the ghost children i'd be like bitch why are you cooking me this omelet and bacon and shit like i'm not about to eat any more of your of your creepy ass food and i'll let you sew buttons into my eyes it's so satisfying how she plated the food the other mother loves food she got like a what is this a cappuccino what is this sitting on the table the dead children everyone you've trapped here all right each of three wonders i've made just for you a ghost eye hides in plain sight mm. yeah terry hatcher did both voices girl i wouldn't have trusted that being my actual mom at the end of the tunnel he all bloated I can hear the other mother is Terry Hatcher. <laughs> I was a Desperate Housewives stan. I know that voice. The other father was always giving too much info away. Yeah, it's Terry Hatcher. I knew that the other mother was her. I never really knew if she did both voices. So I guess she just, all, so she uses the doll to like spy. And then I guess she uses, she must just use her power to like turn into the kid's mom. So every, like incarnation of her looks different so she's like a shapeshifter the bell dam ah see now these uh now these motherfucking plants not so cute 
Now they not like tickling you. They fucking dragging your ass into a, I don't even know what this is. Some type of mouth. A stone something. And here come these bugs. Like everything now in the world is like so aggressive and hostile because everything is under the control, the control of the other mother. Well, not everything, not everyone. Like the other YB, some things have agency. But something she just created. Uh, I remember being terrified of Terry Hatcher because of her role in Spy Kids. <laughs> uh, she, her role in Spy Kids was something, I'll say that. Ah! Sorry. So sorry, mother making me don't want to hurt you. Like the father is helping her. Take it. <laughs> like, damn, did he just die? I always wonder, did he just die? I felt bad for the other father. I did too. The well was like, I want some of that good dinner too. Uh, I think I'm getting the hang of it. That's a voodoo doll. Uh, wait, where? It could have ended with Coraline at the fireplace, came back with a sequel with Coraline all grown up, trying to figure out how to get her Oh, try to get back to the other mother, get her parents back, or get revenge. The bacon was perfectly browned. Uh, she burned the doll impulsively. We're watching Coraline, Dominique. Uh, yeah. I think it's because she has... I think it's because maybe because the other mother it's never really explained how it works maybe it is in the book I've never read the book I think it's because the other mother also has like she clearly also has like other beings trapped there like the ghost children and so I don't know if like maybe YB and the other father like so she has made them appear as YB and her father because obviously those are people that Coraline knows. She like shapeshifts everything for what the kids know. But maybe those are like trapped spirits. Maybe they're like real spirits. Just like how the ghost kids helped her. And she just made them look like her father and look like YB. Give it back! Give it back! Thief! They're like can the candy! This fucking design! Of because remember they gave Coraline the candy. Thief! Give it back! And then they turned into like a dog person candy monster. Her web is unwinding. Hurry on, girl. Her web is unwinding. The other mother in the book is an ancient witch. Damn, this is not creepy. The dog bats. It is interesting that some of the people she makes ends up having so much life, so to speak. I'm not scared, evil witch. See, like she hung his his skin out there. I don't like. I don't even know what that was. Which makes me think that like she made the form to look like YB, but that might have been like. A different spirit like a, a trap spirit and that's why it was trying to help Coraline because Coraline's still alive she's not dead is this what you're looking for you think a winning game is good thing be bored and neglected same as always Sh shit is creepy this nigga's like a snake. And laugh 
live with you. He just like fell on his head. This part was creepy. Yeah, this part was creepy, Brooke. I thought this part was super creepy too. This is the creepiest part to me too. Whatever you want, always. I don't understand. Not even that anymore. I was like, whoa, demonic. Rats, fucking rats. Fucking rats. I hate rats. I hate rodents and these ones are evil. Look, they're shooting the bitch with fucking cotton can candy cannons. Coraline's stupid as fuck. Why would she throw that? Coraline does things so impulsively, like just without thinking at all. The rats tripped their ass. It's so dangerous. Knocked their ass out too. I've lost the game. I've lost everything. <laughs> Um, where was I? Mm. The other mother needs to fatten the kids up. <laughs> so there's more for her to eat. She might as well eat it because she lost her passport permanently. You talk about Coraline. For this movie to be PG, this is so much. It's like a whole lot. That garden gives little shop of horrors teas. At the best of times, but it seems you needed this one, so. Plants like these are why I'd be afraid of poison ivy. Coraline better than me, cause I would have missed that throw. Not gonna lie, if they did a live action film on this, I'd be intrigued and watch just to see who they'd pick to play the characters. Did they say they were gonna do a live action? Or are you just saying, cause you're making live actions of like everything? Kim, Kimberly. This would have been a great video game. Now, I know a lot of people that think this would have been a great video game because the whole concept of the movie, like you're going through the world as it like crumbles apart and you're trying to like find these eyeballs, you know, and the eyes are hidden would have been like perfect for a game. I don't know why they never made a game. And even a lot of like the look of it would have been really great for like a sort of goth a gothic video game i don't talk of it but if they did i'd love to see it ha was not expecting this when i tuned in today i thought this movie would be cutesy and and sweet no Coraline is not cutesy and sweet there's dead children and titties evil rats murder kidnapping uh child neglect a lot of things that, that happen in this movie you're back and you've brought vermin with you look at how this fucking bitch looks i've brought a friend everything i just named was in the movie <laughs> you know i love you sounded like victor from underworld you have a very funny way of showing it you know I love you. <laughs> That's how she sounds. Um, horror scary games terrify me. Horror movies are cool though. The other mother is tore up. Mm. This. <laughs> Too bad you won't have this. Mm. Coraline better. Oh, there you are. I saw that part. She'll never let you go. Even if you win, she'll never let you go. He clearly died because the other father wore out his usefulness. I couldn't eat food made by someone with button eyes, even if they didn't seem evil. Uh, they're behind that door. Partially based on a folktale about stepmothers. She did the other YB dirty. 
to me, he was the creepiest. Mr. Bobinski, the other Bobinski and the rats. Uh, uh, the boy in blue. This dude looks pretty boneless. Oh my Lord. <laughs> oh, this is too creepy. Demonic rats. You're wrong, Coraline. They aren't there. Forever. No, I'm not. <laughs> the way Coraline put, Coraline put her hands up. She put her hands up like, bitch, I'm fed up. Other mother. No, I'm not. The fucking cat ripped this bitch eyes out. Animal cruelty! You horrible cheating girl! And this is when shit really went left. This part, the cat said, bitch, I'm out. I see you. Ah, ha, ha! This was a part of the movie when shit went left, for real. Where are you? You selfish brats. Coraline is not having it. Well, ha 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 ha, echolocation. Coraline in a whole spider web. Your mother! She kicked the bitch in the face. I mean, Coraline had the will to live. Please shut it! This would be so scary. I don't know if I'd want to watch this in live action. I mean, if they did it just like this, it'd be terrifying. No, don't leave me, don't leave me. I'll die, I'll die without you. Look, she's like coming to the real world, close the door. She hit the wall and everything. Don't leave me, don't leave me door moving and getting closer hell no oh gee this is really creepy lord this part was legit a boss fight the other mother was terrifying uh, brooke what the fuck <laughs> Coraline, we're home there's definitely some type of like manipulate reality bending you broke my favorite snow globe and cut your knee not put your knee through them they, they're covered in snow and they don't even realize it they don't realize the other mother definitely has influence over reality in the real world but look at the snow on your clothes like they haven't even noticed and they have no memory of like how long it's been where they've been mm. Bobinski, Bobinski, Bobinski. No talk of it, but if they did, I'd love to see it. Coraline needs a too, too many unanswered questions. Are you watching, Richie? This would make an excellent game. There's a game very similar to Coraline. It reminds me of Alice the Madness Returns. They could have did a lot with this book and movie, but I guess they thought a movie was good enough. <clears throat> thought Coraline was sweet and cute the world of Alice in Wonderland is canon in this game other mothers tore up other mother's head looks like a spider uh, her power is fading the whole world is as decrepit as her now the design in this movie is fire it's amazingly designed there is still a hot topic crowd we're just not as large as before you know the hot topic Spencer's crowd we still out here we still out here we're still emoing it up. There's a Hot Topic slash Spencer's and Wheaton Mall still. Uh, Coraline's tears when she saw her parents in the snow globe. I got some bomb shirts from fucking Hot Topic. I have a Cloverfield shirt that I still have from Hot Topic. Dexter. 
this part was 3D too. This part where she like met the ghost children, like the, their spirits. See, it's like Van Gogh. It's a fine, fine thing you did for us, miss. For us. You're in terrible danger. You in danger, girl. And the Beldam will find it. Thou art alive. Thou art still living. And I think the little boy probably got killed first because the way that he talks. I think it was the boy and then the other little girl and then YB's great aunt. But then after YB's great aunt disappeared, YB's family, you know, his grandmother owns the Pink Palace. So after she disappeared, the family wouldn't let any more kids live in the house until Coraline. How she just pushed the cat to the side like the cat hasn't been helping her up this whole movie? Out of my way! I would have looked in his eyes and been like, what are you trying to say, girl? You know, like when white people get all up in a dog face? My twitchy witchy girl, I think you are so nice. And I gave you bowls of ice cream. My itchy twitchy girl. Look at that. Tension! Tension! Tension. This is like tense. I knew the hand would move independently. In and around the house. Mm. Oh, creepy, 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 creepy! And I've seen this movie so many times and this part is still creepy. The way that they like zoom back to the house and the wall. Oh, creepy. I'm not a pet person, but best believe that cat would be my best friend. Yeah. There go YB. <laughs> Hide that key in another universe, girl. YB fell in the well. Got the hand. And the hand is so fucking aggressive. Why be drop a rock on that shit? Like. Mm, her neck is nothing but spine. How does she cough that up? For some reason, this movie makes me want to go watch The Witches. Especially now, since it's on Netflix. Coraline was not having it. This part had my heart racing. Uh, um, I'm pretty squeamish, so a live-action Coraline might be a no for me, dog. <laughs> it just amazed me that the parents' memories were erased just like that. Again, they're just like, Coraline, girl, what the fuck are you talking about? Hi, one eye. We're watching Coraline, but it's close to the end. After I called you crazy, it's her and her sister. Before she disappeared. Why? Quadruple check the witch dimension door, please. I used to live in Hot Topic and Spencer's. This part looks like a painting. Yeah, that whole part was 3D sponged on me. I'm glad it's over. <laughs> it's over for us. Coraline, shock Pikachu face. Mm, I see what you think, Pambusa. Knew the hand would move independently. I feel like YB's grandmother might have tried to fight the other mother too as a child, but lost. And so that's why she didn't rent to anyone with children. I'm not a pet person, but you best believe that cat would be my best friend. Had the key in another universe. We're watching Coraline. Pink ladies. Uh, I feel like it implied she knew better than to let another child live there. For how long will the witches remain on Netflix? Thank you, One Eye. Mm. Hi, Deadly Gamer. Oh, we're right to the end. How much time has passed? It's spring now. It was fall the last time she went through the door. 
But the tulips look nice. It definitely seems like there was some sort of time manipulation. Hi, bushy brows. The flashback in The Witches shook me to the core as a kid. This is deaf similar. I still think of that when I see kids in paintings to this day. I know where I'm going. I grew up here. Hello. Look at Grandma. I know where I'm going. I grew up here. Pink ladies. Yes, yeah, animated. It's like a 3D thing. Just like a black grandma. <laughs> I thought they were going to do another one, but they didn't. Is it part of a series or is there only one book? Doom, 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 doom. The witch's plan was fucked up. I was shooketh. <laughs> the witch's plan also involved what? Mice. Rodents. Because rodents are always involved in evil schemes. Be it mice, be it squirrels, world domination. I'm just, I'm just connecting the dots. I'm just connecting the dots for y'all. I'm just connecting the dots. That's all we do around here. Uh... I just noticed that Coraline had a red mark on her neck from the key being grabbed at. As many times as I've seen this movie, never noticed that before. <laughs> Shannon, this is so good. I wasn't even chatting. Uh, theorists say that they think the well is also a portal for the other mother. Who knows where the key really went? Yay, Kimberly, I'm glad. Really enjoyed this. That's a BA grandma faux show. Uh, pasta. No, they are not cute. The cat just bounced at the end. Interesting. Yeah, like they showed that like the cat is still able to get into the other world. So like the other world is still there. That's why I thought the ending was going to be that. I thought there was going to be something else. I thought there was going to be another movie or something. One novella as of now, but there have been rumblings of more. This is one of Neil Gaiman's favorite works. I think of the witches anytime I see a mouse now. I'm just saying, could we got a scene where the grandma could see that her sister was now free and going to heaven? Yeah, would have been nice. Something, something. It's only one book if memory serves, but I've read tons of Coraline fan fiction of her story continuing into adulthood. And yeah, I saw you guys saying there was a theory that Coraline never really escaped and was trapped. I've never heard that theory. I saw someone put that it was like that when she went through the door the first time she never got out and that the rest of this was like meant to like get her to adjust especially because we do know that that the other mother the bell dam can like manipulate time well manipulate reality um i i haven't heard i'm not familiar with any of the theories though i'll have to look into them A possum, the boy in blue? We saw one in our backyard once, violently digging under our fence. It was loud, huge, and terrifying. I think I screamed, I had to be 12. I would have been traumatized. Uh, cats have always had one paw in this world and one paw in the other, like in the film Constantine. And I love Constantine, that's one of my favorite movies. That's what I'm saying, you know the part, Kimberly, you know the part in Constantine where he like grabs the cat and he's like rubbing the cat's face and he's like looking in the cat's eyes? That would have been me with the cat and fucking Coraline. Because, you know, in Coraline's world, in the real world, the cat couldn't talk. When he was trying to, like, block the door and she was trying to leave and she was just like, get out of my way. I would have grabbed the cat's face just like in Constantine. I would have been, like, rubbing. I would have been like, what are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me, Keith David? Um... I have read House of Dies Drear. House of Dies Drear isn't isn't House of Dies Drear uh, by what's his name? Edgar Allan Poe? Or do I have that confused with something else? I really like Poe, so I've read like most of his stuff. 
haven't seen too many of the movie and TV adaptations and stuff. I've read most of it, though. I feel like her going back at the end signifies that she knows something with her sister has shifted. Because they were twins. It would have been nice since we did see the grandma to see stuff. It could have even been like a, I don't know, a little short that they made and floated around the internet or something. There are a lot of interesting theories on YouTube. There's a theory that the tunnel is another monster that ate the other mother. Oh, so y'all got theories on theories on theories. Like, I heard you like theories, so I gave you some theories for your theories type status. Making someone think they won is always a good way to break someone. Interesting theory. It was like a rat, or it was like a rat mixed with a raccoon. And possums love to play dead too, which makes them even creepier. Possums love to sneak up on you. Our dog was arguing with the possum the other day. I had Def pick up the cat, stroke his head, and calmly ask, What's up, man? What are you trying to warn me? Yeah, Coraline, you should check it out one eye. Oh, well, okay. Then no, I'm thinking of something else. I've read House of Dies Drear. I have never seen it. Movie with the young Tashina Arnold. Oh, I'm thinking of Fall of the House of Usher. Thank you. Thank you, Keandra. Fall of the House of Usher was by Edgar Allan Poe. Thank you. House of Dies Drear by Virginia Hamilton I have read, but I have not seen the movie. Thank you. I was like, what am I thinking of? Fall of the House of Usher. That's what I was thinking of by Poe. Virginia Hamilton's great. She's amazing. I didn't know they made a movie of it. I never heard that before now. One time I went to Mickey D's late at night. On my way back home, I saw a possum. You see, I'm, I'm not having the possum conversation. Coraline is great. Did we have anything picked for next week? If there's nothing picked for next week, then I'll, I'll look up House of Dice Drear because I really like that and I didn't know there was a movie and I'm not against watching it. Oh, but if it's a horror movie, I'd rather save it for October. But there might have been a movie for next week because I can't really remember last week because last week was booze bait and I was drinking. Can't really remember. Black Dynamite animated series, is that what was next? Black Dynamite animated series? Cause I definitely wanna do it because Umbrella Academy's not back yet, is it? But I know it's coming back and we're gonna have to do season two of Umbrella Academy. So Black Dynamite, the animated series next, okay. Bye Davey. So let's actually put House of Dies Drear on the tentatively on the October list, even though Halloween might be canceled this year, Halloween's not gonna be canceled on YouTube. <laughs> so, oh yeah, and then you guys wanted to watch Idlewild. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, so Umbrella, um, I mean, I was about to say Umbrella Academy. Black Dynamite season two, Idlewild. Umbrella Academy season two, I know at some point. And then let's keep House of Dies Drear with Tishina Arnold in the back of our minds, possibly for Bees Bake or for October Halloween Bees Bake. For anyone that, uh, let me just tell you guys, Halloween Bees Bake, the rules again are Halloween movies. So horror movies, speculative fiction, which is, you know, all those things you watch at Halloween time, but it has to have a black woman lead. So. If you guys, you know, any movies that you guys like to watch at Halloween with a black woman lead. We've already done it a lot. Uh, we've already done Demon Night. We've already done I Still Know What You Did Last Summer with Brandy. We did The Girl With All The Gifts last year, which was really cool. I'm going to put Fast Colors. I have Fast Colors with Gugu Mbatha Raw. I want to watch that. So just if you guys want to start, like, tossing ideas around. Can we skip to October already? I wish we could. Umbrella Academy comes back in the end of this month. Okay, good. Good to know. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. So this was cool. I haven't seen this movie in a while. I'm glad that quite a few of you watched it for the first time. We'll be back next week. Um, 
So Idlewild is definitely on the list. Black Dynamite, uh, animated series on the adult, that's on Adult Swim. So for those of you who might be able to find it on the Adult Swim app, it's, you know, it's Cartoon Network, Umbrella Academy season two. And then we're also gonna have in the back of our minds ideas for October. This was awesome. See you guys. Uh, I'll be back with my next live, you know, either Wednesday or Thursday and regular videos this week as well. Bye.